Wahhabi Salafi book are not accepted for all Muslims? My friend, you are a joker. Wahhabi Salafi books are not accepted. Do you accept the Quran? I mean, text the Quran. You know what? I'm going to go to Skype just for you. Again, I, I, I logged out of Skype, but just for you. You said you are the one who called me before, right? Okay, I will open Skype for you. He said that those are Wahhabi Salafi and their books is not accepted by all Muslims. So I want to ask you, do you accept the Quran? What was your name in the in the in Skype? I think Armin. Okay, here we go. Let me call you. Yes, I accept from Quran. What's your point? You hear me, my friend? I accept from. Huh? I accept from Quran. What's your point? You accept from the Quran. Okay. So, is it true that there's a guy in the Quran? He dies standing, and nobody noticed that he is dead until the Taramite finish eating his steak. Okay. What is okay? You accept that? Everything God says in Quran is I accept. The okay, so why you don't you accept, believe? Why you don't accept what is in the Hadith? You accept this silly thing. So there's a guy. He is dead, and he was dead almost for a year. Standing up, his name is Suleiman. That's by Allah. That is acceptable for by every Muslim. But the books that you refer to by this Wahhabi is not acceptable by by all Muslims. I'm asking you now. You accept the story that there's a person, he he died, and he was standing for a year, and his wives and he's a king. He have an army. He have soldiers. He have hundreds of wives. Nobody noticed that he is dead until the termite. They ate his stick. You are saying to me this is logical for you and this is acceptable story. Okay, you want to go by logic? You you're by the same logic. Your book says a donkey talks. Is that acceptable? Is in all is in Old Testament? How is that? Well, acceptable? even that there it says that God opened the mouth of the donkey. It's not the donkey is talking. No, he said the donkey exactly says donkey no, no, talks. It says How is that, that God, logically acceptable? God opened no, no, the no, mouth. No. It says God opened the mouth of the donkey. And by the way, your prophet he copied the same story, but he claimed it's about him. He says he got a donkey. His name is Yafur, and your prophet asked him if he liked females. And the donkey he is a gay. He said no, I don't. Again, like you, again, you are referring to the hobby books. You don't bring those books no, for me. Is, okay. accept so just for on, just for topic. On. So now I'm just saying, for I'm saying to you, you Quran. When your Quran says there's a guy, he died holding a stick for a year and nobody noticed that he is dead enter the termite they ate his stick how come you accept this story you don't accept the hadith i accept it because allah is word of god but hadiths are uh, translated by wahhabis salafis there are there are so many falsehoods. Well, the it. same thing the hadith is written in the same time actually almost the same time no no no, no. hadith 200 years okay hadith 200 okay. Years. okay hold on you said 200 years had this 200 years Quran within 20 years okay Quran written when within 20 years 200 years had it when two two any years within within 20 years Quran 20 years? and had this 20 years 20 okay I yes. want you to open the Quran you have in front of you and go to page number eight what do you mean page number there's a page uh, called a, a page a it says that this Quran is written according to Hafs according to Hafs Okay. Okay. Hafs. Ibn Hasim. Hafs put it. Hafs put okay, it Hafs, higher. Like Hafs was exist what year? <laughs> what? I have to. I haven't checked his. Uh, okay, search Google uh, right now. Okay, let's hold on a second. Let me... Remember, you said that the Hadith written two hundred years. This why you don't accept it, right? Yeah. Okay. So. If Hafs came close to the time, we should not accept the Quran. You said you said the Quran written twenty years after. Hafs put the dialect on it. That's not something important. Or what do you Osman, mean? Not, what do you mean important? Osman Hafs, Hafs came a, 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 a hundred years after Muhammad, and and and. Uh, 
he is he is the one who gave you uh, he he gave it die like two, not actually, before two, Angora. Uh, Osman, okay. actually, Osman canonized he, it. Uh, uh, actually, he came two hundred years after. Let me get the numbers correct. Hold on. Okay. Okay. That's not important because just she put he or she put it, the day of dialect on it. But Osman canonized the book within twenty years. That's what important is. What do you mean the book of Osman? Do you have the book of Osman? Osman canonized it and then it was spread by it. You don't have a book the, of Osman. You have the recitation of Hafs. Recitation, yes, the dialogue. Okay, so you don't have a book. How we can trust a guy who is reciting from recitation, from recitation, from recitation? Because everyone, it is accepted by every all Muslims. No one okay, is objecting on. that. Not, it's not accepted. It's not true. This is why there's many why? recitation. As an example, when you when you recite the chapter of Al-Fatiha, there is a Al Fatiha says Ahdina Surat al Mustaqim. Do you know what Surat mean? Way. Surat. Way, way up, right way. Chapter of Al Fatiha. Okay, so right way. Hmm. A straight path. Yeah. In the in the recitation of Warish, it is a Durat, which means fort. Lead us to the straight fort. So my Twitter is so which one my of them, Twitter is which one okay, don't I'm tell me about you. your Twitter now. Which one is the correct one? Guide us to the straight fart or guide us to the straight surat, which no Muslim knows what it means. Everybody gives his, his own meaning. King Mahdi Jesus is my Twitter, and the answer to your question is Hafs is the correct uh, like varsh is not and the reason is that the mathematical protection works with the half dialect, not with the varsh dialect. Oh, there's mathematics? Protection. The mathematical, yes. Okay. It's in what the does that web mean? Website explain, of explain to us how the mathematic protection, uh, you know, appear for you. The number of verses sixty to thirty-three is divided by nineteen, and so many other things is divided the, by the that. Verse what? The verse Go what? To the, the verse what? The verse what? The verses of Quran are sixty-two thirty-six. Sixty-two thirty-six verses are in the Quran, hmm. and it's divisible by nineteen. These are one of the miracles, and you can find okay, it in Masjid okay, Qusan, on, Appendix okay, One. This miracle of number nineteen is made by who? It is. It was. It was recently gathered. It was recently discovered. No, no. But it, it, discovered by who? A guy. That's not important. What's no, your it's point? important. It's, 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 it's made by a guy. His name is Rashad Khalifa, and the Muslim they killed him because in order to do it, okay. he have to take verses from the Quran. So you just admitted that the Quran you have today is a fraud because no, uh, why don't, the why, guy why? he was killed why? by the Muslims. He was in Arizona. Because he is because the one. He, he is the one who come. That's he is the he, one who not... come with this false miracle. And look, no, no, no. They killed him because later it, uh, you go read his history. Don't make things up by yourself. He ma he made himself a new prophet according to the very numbers, and that's why they So you they are saying him. to me you took the miracle from a Dajjal. Wait, that job. The jail, because is he a prophet or not? You said he claimed to be a prophet. He, he said that by himself. So that's not okay. related so the to one anything. Who come to you, so Allah inspire him to discover the Quran to prove that he is a he is a prophet, right? Allah, he didn't inspire. Uh, I did. Abdul, Allah, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. If yes, we go, if yes. we go to the website of this guy, we will laugh right away. As an example, the, the miracle of number nineteen start from the chapter of the Fatiha, and he said. The first verse in Al Fatiha is uh, contain 19, 19 letters, correct? But I can show you now that there's 23, 24, 25. What, what, what 19 letters? This guy is an idiot. Anyone who speaks. No, no, no. He got it from the 19, uh, 19 angels that are protecting the gates of. My, uh, my, okay, my friend, he got it from the 19. But okay, so, but th did Muhammad say is that there is a numbers mathematic in the 19? Or this is your fabrication? Here we go. This is the same guy. He is the one who got it. He said that the first chapter in the Quran contain 19 letters. We can count them right now, me and you, and we will see that they are nine, not 19. That part is not correct. Maybe they, maybe you can rewrite the but verses is, in different. Okay, guys. He just said this part is not correct, but the whole miracle is based on this part. Not. No, not based on no, the Quran. It's based, it's based on, on the number 19. No, no, he said based Allah, on he, started, okay. he started the Quran by the, such a phrase because he wanted to tell us that this is the number to start with, number 19. So then he divide all things on 19 and then he go to the verse about 19 angels.
I don't know. Ninety angels. He got it from the ninety angels, not from the the verse of the hand. If you want to go by that. Uh, okay. Let me let, let me ask you. The verses of the nineteen angels. We divide them with, with which number? You said. I have to look at the verse. Hold, hmm. hold on a second. Uh. I'll try to find you his his article about 19. So we can put it in the screen and people laugh. Are you there? Yes, I'm. I found it. It's in Surah Mudathir and verse uh, 30s. I know where the verse. I'm saying what the what the what the what the theory of this 19 saying. And I know what the verse. You're silly. So you you go to search Google to tell me what verse now. I'm asking you. This theory is based on what? Based on the 19. Okay, I know. And how he divide? He divide all the Quran or only that verse? The, all the verses of the Quran are dividable by 19. That's one of the miracles. Exactly. And that will break it. Because first of all, the Quran, there's tons of verses are missing. And they are not there. No. no. If anything was missed, the mathematical protection wouldn't have worked. Okay, hold on. Are you against the Quran or you are with the Quran? I'm with the same Quran that has verses of 60 to 36. Okay, here we go. I want you to recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. That's oh, oh you want to bring again the, the hadiths made by Salafis and Sunnis. We, we are done with this. Okay, hold topic. on. Don't bring. I want you to bring me the verses which Allah He caused you to be forgotten. Chapter two, verse one o six. Hold on a second. Chapter two, verse one o six. Cause to be forgotten is not being practicable, not being forgotten it literally. We do oh, your taking it as literally. Yeah, okay, okay. Not yeah, it's not literally. I just get lost, not literally. So Allah will cause you forget it, but not letter not literally, guys. <laughs> it's not literally. Allah will make something similar, not literally. Allah will send you something uh, like it, not literally. But number nineteen is literally. <laughs> Where does people come from? <laughs> <laughs> and they say to you, why you hang up on them? <laughs> All the garbage of 19 is a fraud. You know, uh, uh, there is a video of, uh, what is his name? Uh, what is his name? Like, I mean, the stupid idiot. Uh, Ali, Ali, Ali. Yeah, Shabir Ali, hold on. That's just to take you there. He said, the miracle of number 19, if you calculate those numbers, will come. <laughs> Let us see. Try not to laugh. <clears throat> Let us move to Shabir Ali talking. 
coincidence. And uh, a lot of times that is exactly <coughs> what it is, just a simple coincidence. Uh, but uh, what we know from probability theory is that, uh, yes, it, things may happen, uh, uh, fall into place by coincidence. But uh, to have a series of such coincidences is actually very rare. Uh, let's say, for example, I, I uh, flip a coin. Now I see the heads or tails coming up, right? Hmm. Um, and the chance of it being heads is one half or 50 percent mm. because there, there is one chance out of two possibilities. It's either heads or tails, uh -huh. and I'm looking for that one mm -hmm. uh, possibility uh, out of the two. Uh, now, to, to get heads twice in a row is actually uh, one half times one half, uh -huh. which is one quarter. Okay. Mm. In other words, one out of four, because if you keep, if you flip it two times, you can, there are four different outcomes which are possible, mm. and you need heads each time. So you need, you need actually one, you need one possibility out of the four that mm -hmm. could occur, mm. uh, meaning both are, are heads. And if you do it three times in a row, the I mean, all of this to answer about the Quran, flip coins, how many times we flip the Quran, are we going to flip the Quran now? So what is the miracle of the 19? Tell us. It's behind the Quran. And uh, it, it is God's mind who, who put the Quran to be the way it is. It's not by human invention. It's not by a human invention. Did you hear it? But the Muslims, they agree that Allah himself, he caused them to forget Quran. The Muslims agree that the God ate the Quran. The Muslims agree that there's a chapter of a breastfeeding and chapter of stoning to death, at least are missing but Allah he put the Quran a certain way but if you notice that all the chapter of the Quran today is written or let us say they are ordained according not to Allah according to the Muslims so how those numbers work tell us more and who, someone obviously did this research, right, in this area of focus, so can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, the first person to come up with this uh, finding is a man by the name of Dr. Rashad Khalifa. See, the Muslims are witnessing to a false cult leader. He claimed to be a prophet. He took verses from the Quran, and he calculated everything wrong. Actually, if we go right now, and you will see there's fatwas from all Islamic countries saying the Quran, miracle number 19, is a fraud. How this guy accepted? Because they are desperate. Let me find you the sum of the fatwas. And I can debunk them whole in easy. Because all the calculation is wrong, it's false. <clears throat> okay, let's open. They're trying to open this website, it's not working. Let's see a different website. Man, this website is so slow, taking forever. Just forget. It. Hold on. Uh, hmm. This is a Muslim article. Look what look what the title is. The problem about nineteen that is required solution. So you read the article, and they will show you that they are giving false counting for the numbers. This is the Muslims. This is not us. This is not the Muslim. Not the Christians saying this is cannot be. You know, this is obviously there's a there's a there's a problem with this. This is a fraud. Let us show you a different article. I want to show you a fatwa. Hold on. Fatwa, which is made by Islamic scholars. Uh, 
where is the fit was we are searching Let us see. Anyway, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm trying because before I made a video about it, uh, maybe I need to change the search key word. It's a very silly, you know, claim anyway. But all of it is based on false numbers. Let us change the search. Let us type the word 19. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we can search actually videos. There's videos exposing those false miracles made by Muslims. Here we go, another Muslim website. Angels or 19 miracles. Surah 77. So I mean, they are giving you the reasons that this is false. This is the Muslims. They're giving you tons of reason to believe that this is a false claim. But anyway, for us, the easiest way, because especially those who don't speak Arabic, to debunk this claim is the Quran itself. The Quran says, if Muhammad is a prophet, why he don't have, why his God did not give him a miracle? Chapter 13, which is a chapter given at the end of the life of Muhammad. People are still asking Allah, Aka Muhammad, how come he don't have a sign? Why Muhammad did not say, this is a sign. He did not say, I have any sign. He says, well, Allah, he will not, he did not give him miracle. Allah, he deceive as he wish, and he guide as he wish. That's the answer. Which means Muhammad himself is not aware that there is a scientific or let us say mathematical miracle as the Muslims claim, which is rejected by Muslims. It's a stupid statement because all the calculation is based on numbers and letters. If we go calculate them, we will find that those letters are not true. So when he calculate chapters, they say chapter Al-Fatiha, first verse is 19 letters. We go we check them out. We find they are 23, 24, depending on the recitation. If you use Hafs, I think it's going to be at least 24 or 23. So they are not 19. So it's a very stupid claim. And here we go, Muhammad at the end of his life, still he don't receive any signs or miracle. The Quran says, well, if this is a book from other than Allah, well, then you will find contradiction. Barat Rahman, when he was the, uh, uh, speaking to Mimi Hijab, he said to him, will my book, the yellow pages, have zero contradiction? It's very silly to say that this is from God. Same time, let us say for the sake of argument, I make a book now, I can just divide number 19 on it. Does that make me God? <laughs> that is a very stupid argument. But even that is a false. Because all of it is based on number 19, and number 19 is not really accurate in the counting they do
I will go to the website of Rashad Khalifa. Let us see. Uh, here we go. All of this claim is based on this first verse in the Quran. The first verse, 1-1, one, one, known as a basmala, contain 19. You remember when the guy, he said to me, no, it's not based on that? 19. Okay, let us go to the first verse. We will find that this is absolutely false. It does not contain 19. That is absolutely false. This is the Quran. Which means if that verse is wrong, is not 19, the rest of the claim is destroyed already. First of all, in the Arabic, there is nothing it's called bism. And the Muslim agree that the original word of the first word is bism, not bism. It was, the alif was taken off to make it easier to recite. This is why if we go in the Quran and we type the word in the correct way, we will find the word appear many times. This is the correct way to write the word. Bism, not bism. And you can go and read the interpretation of all Muslim they agree that the alif was taken off, the letter A is taken off for that purpose. So which means the Muslim they took it off. It's not Allah who took it off. So you remember we, we told you about the, 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 the Arabic scholar, Al-Farahidi, Al-Farahidi, he, he took those letters and he add letters. He add Hamza, he add many letters. He add Shadda, he add Kasra. He, he add all of those things. So the first one is Bism, which means we have to add the letter AE. But you know what? I'm not going to add it. I will give it as a tips, just to show you that even that will not affect the result. If you zoom with me, anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that the Shadda present two letters. Actually, you can watch the video of the guy. His name is... Uh, what is the name of the guy who take off his t-shirts to girls? He sent his uh, WhatsApp messages to Muslim girls. What's his name? Remind me, remind me. Here, you know, he have like uh, about the coincidence words in the Quran. You know, Norman uh, Khan, Norman Khan. So watch the Norman Khan. He will show you how when the letter have a top shadda in the top of it, that's mean the letter is repeated twice, like Ar Rahman. Go watch his video. It's not my video, this is the Muslim videos. So the second you see Shadda, and those who do not know Shadda, let me show it to you. I will zoom in more. That thing, let us show you here. That little thing in the top of the letter here look like this, look like teeth. Oh, this is a thick uh, line, let us use thin. This letter here, this uh, sorry, this move here, look like that. In the top of the letter in the middle of Allah, I will put a sign underneath of it. See that letter? In the top of it, you will see that move. That move will present two letters, not one. So the second you see that move in the top, it means there's two letters. So the same letter repeated twice. And the same goes for every letter after that. You see here, Ar-Rahman. This is letter R. And have the same sign in the top here. So letter Ra is repeated twice. Okay, so now we have two letters more additional to 19. We continue. If you go here, you will see a little A here. In the top, I will put a sign under the word. And this is the letter, you see it? Little A. Let me put uh, uh, an arrow with a different color. This is the A. You see it? It's a little tiny thing in the top. Oh, we need to make an arrow. Hold on. Arrow. Uh, let us wipe it off and make it again. All right, so now if you look here, you will see there's a little arrow 
sorry, little little Ali Alif. You see it? It's like a dagger, like a knife. That is a letter. Ar Rahman. There's A. So now we have three more letters to 19. So now what we have? 20, 21, 22. We did not finish yet. <laughs> Here we have the Shadda again over this letter. Let us make this arrow shorter. Here in the top of the letter Ra or Or. So now we have more letters. So now we have four. Four plus 19, according to his calculation, there are 19. Plus four, that is 23 letters. And we did not add the Aleph here, which it should be added. That will make it five more letters. Where's the miracle? Where is the miracle? This is a basic Arabic. You see, when the Quran today is written is not according to the Quran of Muhammad. So before when they write Ar-Rahman, they have to write two R. So when we write Ar-Rahman, we have to do this. Ra, r, 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 you know, like when you say Russia. Ra. Let us switch to English. Al Ra Ra Man. Even when you say it, actually in Arabic, you say Ar Rahman. So what is the Alif? The Alif is there, is small. He did not calculate it. Al Rahman. Al Ra Ra Al Ra. Tura, man, there is Aleph. So there's Aleph in the word, and there's two R. This is in one word, there's two more two, two letters added to 19. So all the miracle is destroyed. This is why the Muslim themselves in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, in Emirat, they laugh at it and say it's not true. So when this guy he said it's not based in number 19, which is verse number one, he, he was lying. We just went to the website of Rashad Khalifa and we found that this is the first verse ever he mentioned. It was a chapter one. So if this one, because this is the base, the major base of the calculation, if this one was wrong, the rest of the calculation is wrong. So do you see how easy to, 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 to debunk their stupidity? The basic of Arabic alphabet is from number. You see, my friend, there's nothing is called the basic of Arabic language alphabet from numbers. This is Aramaic. Aramaic. All today, all the world today, using the Arab, the Aramaic alphabet. When you say number one, number two, number three, number four, those alphabet of Aramaic. Arabic does not have alphabet. Arabic does not have alphabet. Arabic is, let us say, you bring a, a, a dog, he is a Doberman, and you make him have sex with other dog, and then you have a new dog, mix. This is the Arabic. Arabic is not a language by itself. But anyway, Muslims agree that this is the true Arabic. And you can go, as I said, go watch the... the, the uh, let me try to find it, just to show you. What his name? Nu'man Khan. Nu'man Khan. And by the way, I said to myself today, I will try to make it the video short. <laughs> what they call it in English, guys? So what can you search? Like, what is the, what is the, they say, like in the name of the miracle of the Quran? Like how you find letters, they, you can read them backward, forward. Nu'man Khan, Nu'man Khan, Quran, words, let us see. I'm not sure what I will say words after, after that. Uh... Yeah, here we go. This is the video. <clears throat> One 
but we cannot play all of it. Let us search. I don't know if oh, this is all the video or part of it. All right, let's see here. You have to, to look for it. Because he have where he showed the word Rahman specifically. I'm trying to fight in the video. I'm screwing down because we don't want. We cannot play the whole video. Uh, Ar Rahman. Until now, I cannot find it. We don't know if this is the same video or not. Okay. Uh, until now, I see nothing. But I saw the video. It's one of those videos he make about the Quran. Words. Uh, let us search different one. No man, Ali Khan. Okay. No man, Ali Khan, miraculous. The problem there's tons of videos you have to find which one he speak about that word let us see anyway maybe one of you can find it and find where he spoke about a rahman and you will see how he count uh, how he count the letters and he will show you that that there have to be counted twice I mean it's not a science it's not, it's easy I mean any Arab he knew when you add Chadda Chadda is something added to the Arab language uh, uh, later so you can you know make the writing shorter so you do not need to write the letter twice um, let's see this one here Maybe if any of you can find it later and give me the link and I will play it. But anyway, but you see how easy to, to debunk this stupid miracle. Number 19 is not exist. Not in a single verse of what he claimed. The counting is fabricated. And even Muslims have to agree with me. Actually, I change any Muslim right now to say to me that there's no two letters in La, no two letters on Ra, not two letters and one letter in Rahman. There's nothing in Arabic is called a Rahman like this. A Rahman have to come with Alif. Always. So this is was added later by this guy Farahidi as a decoration. So he make it small, but this is a letter, a Rahman. You say it, Rahman. But here, by making this letter small. And when the guy he calculate the numbers, he is not being honest. We have because it's, the letter is still there in front of our eyes. You see, the first letter here in BSM is taken off. So I can say, okay, well, he was calculating what is there from the Quran today. But why he did not count the letter here, which is in the front of our eyes? There's no way he didn't see it. And he speak Arabic. Don't you knew that this is an Alif letter? He knew. Any Muslim here, he knew. Why he did not calculate the letters here? Why he did not calculate the letters here? 
why he did not calculate the letter here because simply he did it in purpose and then the Muslims they are naive a copy paste they get excited somebody said there's a miracle in the Quran number 19 and then they, oh, by the way in the beginning all of them they spread amazing discovery TV stations spoke about it and then the Muslim cleric they start looking and they said oh no this guy is horrible he just screwed up the Quran this is absolutely fraud, fraud. so when a guy like Shabir Ali and I challenged him I said to Shabir Ali the verses you mentioned in your video I challenge you to do life with me and we will not debate I want you just to calculate the letters the one you mentioned and for sure he will never dare to do so and you ask yourself how Shabir Ali was sure do he speak Arabic hmm. did you answer me Abul hey, my friend I answer you many times you are just an idiot aren't you the one who asked me about the Christmas tree get out of here aren't you the one who said to me Jesus he killed people in the Bible of Thomas <laughs> I answered you you idiot you are just a you are just like a pimple in the ass of Muhammad and now I pressure you and all the <clears throat> fuzz came out did you answer me like the guy he think like he have a questions is, is those questions is really this is a question do you know that Jesus he killed people in the book of Thomas okay give us the verse Jesus killed people in the book of Thomas this is about the judgment the potato I mean where, where those dummies coming to me from you know it's like when you when an adult speaking to somebody and then little child he hold him from his uh, uh, trouser buy me candy buy me candy buy me candy this, this is you you are just a stupid silly this is what you have this is like the against Christianity now we celebrate Christmas what a dump At least bring something valuable, something like something important. Let me tell you, the God in the Bible, He killed people too. Is it the flood of Noah done by God? Is it the Christian they believe that this is the same God? So you are silly. You do not need to go and fabricate news. We have real news. Yes, God, He kill, He create, and He take life. He gave life, so he can. He he is the only owner of life, so he is the one who has the right to take it. Are you happy now, stupid silly? There is no Thomas in the Bible. What do you mean? No, there is no Thomas in the Bible. No, no, he's saying in the Bible of Thomas, in the Bible of Thomas. You know, I remember once I asked a Muslim, do you know the Bible of uh, Jeffaranos? He says, yeah, I know it. He says, what about the Bible of uh, Michalanos? He said, yeah, I know it too. What about the Bible of uh, Sharhabil? He said, I know it too. Yeah, Muslims, they come to you with Bibles as they wish. However, if they are trying to say that Jesus, he bring people to kill, his angels, they will kill, they will slaughter in the judgment day. Well, we can find that in the Bible, but this is in the judgment day. But as we know, Jesus will not really slaughter them. Jesus will send them to hell because slaughtering will end the life. But the Bible confirmed that those people will live forever in hell. So the slaughtering here is a slaughter from the mercy of God. There is no gospel of Thomas in the Bible. For him, there is a gospel of Thomas. So I'm saying to him, give me the verse from the gospel of Thomas. What's wrong with you? For him, there is a gospel, the gospel of Thomas. He have it, have a verse. I said to him, show us, so we love. What's wrong with people? There's the gospel of... Uh, Muhammad too. I have an auntie uh, who converted to Islam while she was working in Kuwait. 
how I can talk to her to make her realize that Muhammad is a false prophet. Well, my friend, mostly your auntie, she converted because she married a Muslim, right? Did she marry a Muslim? So those, they are not really, this kind of women, they are not converting. They are, you know, whatever the husband in the bed, his religion, they will be. I remember, you know, I was living in an apartment and there was a lady in front of me. She married a guy, he is a Sikh from India. She became a Sikh. Then she started dating a Jew. She became a Jew. I don't remember if she was dating a Muslim too or married a Muslim, but I mean, she was changing her religion. Every every few months I see her wearing different clothes because she had a different husband or different boyfriend. So those people, they don't convert. With my respect to your auntie, you know. They don't convert really. They convert because of a man. Same time, if you want to talk to her, give her my books. Let her watch her videos. Let her watch Muslims debating me and see how they can answer nothing. So the one who have a verse from gospel, the Muslim they come to you, there's a gospel, it's called the gospel of Barnabas. Okay, give us the gospel of Barnabas. What is the gospel of Barnabas saying? Do you, 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 do you have it? Show it to us. That gospel says what? Muslims, they have all their own gospels. For us, we as a Christians, we have the four gospels. But anyway, if you have a gospel, bring it to me, as you call it gospel, because, because if you consider it as a gospel for you, that's good. Show us. Uh, yeah, Muhammad, he brought gospel too, the Quran. All of them, they have gospel. So do we have any Muslim? My Skype is still open if there's any Muslims. Anyone? <clears throat> Jehovah's Witnesses, they have four Gospels too. They have the same names exactly. But uh, if you read inside, you will see there's different stories, different translation, false translation. Even though they have the same exact names, exact same numbers but the second you start reading you will find that they are not there <clears throat> but anyway if you have the gospel of Thomas please share it with us we will be happy to read from it Do we have any Muslim? And by the way, there is there is uh, some uh, books called Gospel, but those are we consider them as a fraud, right? And this is where some of the stories Muhammad he brought he brought them from there. So we know that there is other books called Gospel, but those are not our Gospels. You can call them gospel, people can call them gospel, but they are not. Do we have any Muslim? Always the Muslim, they try to bring verses trying to say that Jesus, he teach violence. Well, I have a better news for you. You can go to the Old Testament and you will see that God, he order people to go in war. The same God. We don't have two gods, three gods. The same God, he flood the whole earth. So you not need to go after Gospels, which is your, your Gospels, to prove a point. God, he gave life. God, he take life. <clears throat> uh, 
let us see the Abdu's in Skype. Like Jesus, he said, I, you know, uh, uh, I brought a, a sword, not peace. That's what the Muslim they copy for us. This Abdul here. Okay. Do we have any Abdul? No, even those fake source they bring, they are good for us. Because he noticed that even the fake source, which is rejected by us, confirming that Jesus is God. Even the, the fake, those fake books, they are in total agreement that Jesus is God, that there is a Father, there is a Son, there is a Holy Spirit, and there is a crucifixion. So they can bring it, no problem, doesn't help them. Uh, the one who said his auntie she converted to Islam in Kuwait. Why you don't call her right now and put her with me in the phone? You can call her using Skype and you can invite me to join the conversation and let me talk to her. Any Muslim? Any one of you, he have somebody, he want to help? He is a, a, somebody that say he converted the Muslims lie to him or to her. You can call me. I don't take calls from Christians, as you know. But in this case, I will accept because you will bring in somebody to come so we can help. So you can call any person you know he converted to Islam. And we can have a conversation live on air. And I promise you, I will speak nicely to them. Do we have any Abdul? You know, Muhammad, he tried to copy everything in Christianity. This is why he says, take the Quran from four. Why the Quran will be taken from four people? Because Muhammad, the fraud is always the same. Nothing changed. Muhammad, he claimed that he have 12 Imams after him. Why 12 Imams? Because there's 12 disciples. <laughs> everything is a copy. It's a fraud cult. Take the Quran from four. Is that Luke? Is that Mark? Is that John? Why, why from four? Is Matthew with them? So Muhammad, he have tons of, uh, uh, you know, companion, but yet, take the Quran from four. What made him say so? Because simply he is trying to copy Jesus. He's a fraud. And the funny is, the Muslim they did not take the Quran from those four. They did not. The Quran they recite today is not coming from those four. There is somebody trying to contact me. Okay, I want to tell me his name. Yeah, this guy is not even a Muslim. I want to tell you that in the Mount of Sinai was truly at Arabia. You can see Galatian 4.25. My friend, uh, 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 when I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. And stupidity can be infecting even people who claim to be Christians. It's called the Mount of Sinai. So how the Mount of Sinai will be found far away from Sinai? Stupidity. 
Japan is amazing. It's like saying the Mount of Himalaya, and then you discover that the Mount of Himalaya in Alaska. Dummy. And the word Arabia is a desert, you idiot. The word Arabia is a word named desert. It's not even a location in the map. Any desert is Arabia. So this is why they say the Arabian desert. Why? Because simply they are translating the word Arabia twice, saying Arabian desert, because now we know that this is where the people of the desert live. But the word Arabia is an Aramaic word meaning people of the desert. So the second we say the Arabian, we are talking about people who live in the desert, whoever they are. So if the Aramaic word exists in the time of Abraham, sorry, in the time of today, for them Las Vegas is Arabia. If you live in Arizona, you live in Arabia. So don't bring your ignorant or your ignorance. Ignorance is the problem in this world. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will see that it says, Al-Arab. Al-Arab is a word coming from the, the Arab. Okay, what is the word Arab is? All over the Quran, look how many times, look how many times. Okay, well, what does that mean? Arab are people who live in the desert, in the tent. Translation, the Bedouin. So people of Arabia is the Bedouin. Arabia is a desert where Bedouin live. The naive you, desperately looking for the Mount of Sinai, in Arabia today, which is called in the map Saudi Arabia, at that time that does not exist. At that time, any desert is Arabia. And the Mount of Sinai is exist in the desert of Sinai, which is Arabia. So don't be a fool. You know, people, they get excited when, when the, there's like a new theory, a new discovery. I want to show you. It says that. No, it doesn't say that. You are just an ignorant person. The word Aram is those who live in the top of the hills. Aramic. The word Arab is those who live in the flat desert. The Mount of Sinai is a mount, number one. It's a mount. It's a mountain. And that can be found in Sinai. I mean, the stupid is amazing. It says the Mount of Sinai. It's given you even the name of the location. <laughs> I mean, the funny is to make to 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 show you how dummy a human being can. The, the, the Jews, all this time, they did not discover that. So the Jews, you know, Moses and the Jews who follow him generation after generation, writing in their books and the rabbis, they did not notice that the Mount of Sinai is in Saudi Arabia. Dummy. Our enemy is ignorance. So we go back here. Take the Quran from four. Why four? Any Muslim can tell me. Allah said to Muhammad, take the Quran from four. So what, what, what he, he was alive. Why we don't take the Quran from Muhammad? Muhammad is alive. He is the one saying, take the Quran from four. Why we need to take the Quran from four if Muhammad is alive? Did Muhammad forget the Quran?
Do we have any more time? My friend, I do not need to find the real name of Sinai because this is the real name of Sinai. The Mount of Sinai is the real name. You are again being an idiot. Documentary. Those people, they take their religion and their belief from documentary. A documentary made by a truck driver. You did not see the documentary. So his proof is a documentary. And the Saudi, they have a fence around it. Stupidity is amazing. And you know, at the end of the day, let us say the Mount of Sinai was in Japan. Why this is so important? Why, is, why people are so silly? It's like a guy you know, he used to have a lot of pimples in his face and he used to play with them. And then someday, one day, somebody told him, oh, there's a medicine if you use it, no more pimples. So he used it, pimples are gone. And he was so unhappy because now he will squeeze what? He need pimples. So silly people, they try to find discovery, have, is, have used this use. useless use because this is how they can get attention if you say something different you get attention if i go right now in the highway in the wrong direction all tv stations will talk about me but if i go like millions of people goes every day in the same direction nobody will talk about you right CP, Abaka, one Kerensos. Uh, speak to me in English, Abdul. I think this guy is saying that in uh, uh, First Corinthian, is that what he's saying? In in uh, in uh, Hindu, sorry, in Indian language. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I drank too much coffee. So Muhammad, he had a 12th Imam, take the Quran from four. Muhammad, he changed his name to be the praised one. All of us, all of this lead us, that's one thing, that Muhammad trying to be Jesus. Is First Corinthians chapter 8, verse number 4, uh, Say la ilaha illallah. First of all, in the whole Bible, the word Allah does not exist. Secondly, to say there is no, there is no, uh, uh, there is no, la ilaha illallah, that is very silly uh, to come with. Because you just said there is no God. So there is God or there is no God? In order to make the phrase, you know, let us say, uh, come to be true, you can say there's no, no beside God, God to worship, save God. But you say there's no ilah, illallah. You just say there's no God. Same time, if you go to First Corinthians, this is in total agreement with the Bible, all of it, says it clearly that there's only one God and that's what we believe if you read verses after one verse after you will see that Jesus one Lord he is Jesus Christ so how come Muslim they see one verse they don't see the other one so if we open you know first uh, Corinthians it says it clearly there is no other God to worship beside our true God. And there is only one Lord, that is the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Which is by him all things are created, and for him all things are created. So the same chapter confirmed that Jesus is our God, and he is the creator.
Do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan with the Gospel of Thomas? <laughs> Gospel of Thomas. So you see, this is how this is how you can you know uh, this is why like those things uh, like a Muslim is claiming miracles in the Quran by numbers, those are difficult for someone who do not know Arabic. But for us, those is a joke. We can debunk them in two seconds. Two seconds. It doesn't even take us two seconds. And you know, when somebody come with a formula, and this formula is based in fabrication, and even if, let us say, that his calculation was right, and it's not wrong, how that can prove that this is from God? Is, is Satan smart enough to make such a thing happen? <laughs> religion is, you know, sometimes religion can be very silly. So the God of Islam is smart in mathematics, to the point, he said, a lot of his stupid things have to do with mathematics in the Quran. As an example, how many gods the Christians believe? The Muslims, they say, three gods. They lie. They just quote for us a verse says, there's only one God in First Corinthians. And they are the ones quoting. And then, when we asked last time, last video, we ask a Muslim, what is the Trinity? He says, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's good. So we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So why the Quran is stupid? Chapter 5, verse number 17 says that the Christians believe that Jesus the Messiah is Allah himself. So if the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? in the Christian tr Trinity. Any Muslim can help us? Remember, your God is good in mathematics, right? We're trying to find the three. If Jesus is the Messiah in the belief of the Christians, sorry, the Messiah is Allah. Okay, so the first person is the Messiah and he is Allah. Wonderful. Who is the second person and who is the third person? Who is a Muslim can help us with this uh, stupidity? Remember, we Christians, we don't believe that God the Father is the same as God the Son. We believe in one God, yes, but we believe the Messiah is a person. God the Father is a person. God the Holy Spirit is a person. So three person, one God. Here, the Quran saying that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah himself. Okay, so the first person is Allah, Akka the Messiah. Who is the second person and who is the third person? If there's any Muslim want to help us? This is the, the most simple mathematics ever you can imagine. We do not need to calculate 19 and 17 and divide them and add numbers, take numbers, which all is stupid. The first person is Allah and he is Jesus at the same time. Wonderful. Who is the second person? Mary. Who is the third person? Any Muslims? If you say to me the Holy Spirit, you are in trouble because the Quran never says so. The stupid Quran mentioned in different place that the Christians they believe in the Trinity, and the Trinity is Allah and Jesus and Mary. Like what the heck? First, we don't believe that Mary is part of the Trinity, not a single Christian. Secondly, what we will do with this verse now? Because if the Christian they believe that Allah and the Messiah is the same person, then the Trinity does not exist because what is left is Mary. Any Abdul?
again we remind you people today I'm really happy this is why I'm staying long we have our first book translated in Chinese the deception of Allah today is available in Chinese language and we have the the, the uh, six and Allah translated into Russian language you can go and get the links from patreon and they are for free you know uh, by the way some people they ask me how many people you have in patreon I think I have like a, a thousand ninety but uh, we can say 99 not 99 maybe 95 90 90 something percent they don't really make any donation they are just there They're, they put a number like one dollar but there's no donation because they don't have any setup for a credit card or anything so the number is a huge as uh, people in Patreon but the real number of people who donate is very little I'm not complaining thank you God thank you Lord you know I trust that people they support us when they can for sure there's people who they are fake they don't care but you know there's still the good people they try their best so do we have any Mohammedan anyone and I cannot wait until I finish my translation for the Quran and then we translate to all languages and then all languages will be posted for free that will make my dream of accomplishing you know I mean really something really good because this is will be forever the second we finish this translation you know like it's hard to do a to do a work right but after you finish it you will be so thankful for having it forever because generation maybe today maybe tomorrow maybe a year after maybe 20 years we don't know I would die but the book will stay and your translation will stay so thank you for those who help us with the translation you are part of this memory which is going to stay forever and the best of it that it's for free God is good <clears throat> you know those people that do not ask me for money they did not say we will not do it unless you pay us uh, and that is telling you the quality of those people they are wonderful Harun Abdullah saying the Trinity is pagan okay thank you Harun Abdullah that's mean Allah is a pagan because the Trinity is all over Islam Islam is exists because of the three Muhammad Muhammad Allah and Jibreel prove it wrong all of Islam is based on three when you do ablution you have to put water in your nose three times in your ears three times in your mouth three times you wipe your hand your feet three times so everything you do is based on Trinity Allah is God Allah he sent his spirit to Muhammad three Trinity all of your religion based on Trinity so when you say Trinity is pagan that's mean Allah is a stupid God when Mary she spoke to Allah Allah he said to her you know okay you fast for three days from talking why three days Trinity same for Zechariah when Zechariah Allah told him he will have a son he said to him give me a sign Allah he made him mute for three days three why not four why not five why three is all over when your prophet he take an oath he had to repeat the same word three times any Muslim all your religion is based on number three 
when we speak about Jesus, we have a day he was born, the day he was died, and the day he was resurrected, three. So the stage of of life is three. Birth, death, resurrection. Are you with me, Abdul? Do we have any Abdul have anything to say? When a Muslim he divorced his wife, the final divorce, if one you divorce her three times. <laughs> Why three? Any answer? When you are going to make your translation of the Quran, I'm working in it. Now, do you think I can work every day? Like here we go, we are live for four hours. Do we have any Abdul? If I go right now and I type the word three in the hadith, just do this guys, here we go, in front of your eyes. I will type the word three in English, not in Arabic. You will die laughing when you see Let's type three times, so just to make it easier to find. Three times. Endless numbers of pages in the search engine. Three times. When Allah Messenger supplicate, he supplicated three times. Do you see it? How many times you have to pray in the Quran? Three times. <laughs> when Muhammad he do wudu, he do it, he do everything, is every limb three times. His hands, he rinse his mouth, his nose three times. He wash his face three times. Trinity. The Prophet do do it three times each limp. He have limbs, by the way. He's limpy. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Three times. Three time. Three time. Three time. <laughs> Every you know, even by the way, when you wanna when you do uh, uh, when you do piss, you have to shake your penis three time. Do we have any Muslim? Muhammad, he repeat the same word three times. Mental, actually, this is a sign of mental. Okay, we are people who believe in Trinity. Why I need to repeat the same sentence three times or the same word three times? You tell me. It's mental. It's a clear sign of stupidity to say the same word three times. Imagine if Muhammad is the guy who do the weather news. Brothers, brothers, brothers. Brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, sisters. Today, 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 the weather, the weather, the weather will be, will be, will be cloudy, 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 and, and, and some, some, some rain, rain rain might fail might fail might fail and 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 maybe 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 i have 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 some idiots some idiots some idiots they are so slow so slow so slow to understand me to understand me to understand me so i have to say i have to say i have to say three time three time three time isn't it a clear sign that your prophet is mental this guy is coming from the zoo why he need to repeat the same word three time you tell me any muslim I 
they challenge any Muhammadan to tell me what's wrong with this guy is he like a CD stuck like there's a there's a Muslim lady she brought a CD teaching us her, uh, her teaching her how to do uh, to make a cake and then the CD stuck keep saying break an egg break an egg break an egg and the lady she called her husband honey send me some eggs I'm out of eggs I'm making I'm making cake I sent I really I bought yesterday 30 eggs she said yeah but this is still saying make an egg break an egg he sent her another 100 egg she called him again eh, honey I need more egg I just send you 100 egg because the CD stuck with the break an egg Do we have any Muslim? Who's a Muslim like to call me and say to me the word three times as the Prophet do it? Because I wanna, I'm curious to know. I want to know how he do it. Narrated Anas bin Malik that the Messenger of Allah would repeat a statement three times. So it could be understood, and he's so clear. And here you see how stupid that is, because if you repeat the statement three times, it's the same statement. So you did not make it clear. It's the same statement. <laughs> Just to make it simple for you, excuse me, I have to use my drawing. So I say the word arrow. Use your arrow. This is a statement. Use your arrow. Oh, he did not understand. Okay. Okay, we'll say it again. Use your arrow. Oh, okay. Still he didn't understand. Okay. Use your arrow, idiot. Obviously, there's nothing changed. You do not explain the statement. So why repeating the statement three times does not explain the statement? If a student he watch a video of a teacher teaching mathematics he did not understand we play the video again he did not understand is it is he going to understand if we play a third time how stupid is that logic it doesn't matter how many times you play it for him, he will not understand because he understand, that's it. What you want to say, you said already. So if it was able to understood, he will be able to understand it. Obviously he cannot. So repeating the same thing twice, three times, that will not change anything. Stupid. This is a stupid statement. Like if Muhammad repeating and explaining, I will say, okay, he said something, he explained it. Okay, makes sense. But no, he's repeating the same thing. As an example, Muhammad now he is making it to, to, to clear, right? Okay. Just to show you the stupidity. Adam, he have a debate with Moses. Don't ask me how. Please, please, please. Because according to Moses, uh, Adam was dead long time before he was exist. Uh, so Muhammad, he told us the story about Moses and Adam, they are debating. And then Muhammad, did he repeat the story three times to explain it? No. Or what he said. So Adam, he confuted Moses three times. Is that going to make us understood the story? Uh.
imagine I make a story for you and I say a story and then at the end I say uh, so Adam he confuted Moses Adam he confuted Moses three times how that will make me understand and look in the translation here they took the word three out of the translation it's not there let us see yeah, here we go so instead of explaining the story he repeated that Adam confuted Moses three times how that can make I mean it's isn't it enough to say it once how that make it more clear Any Muhammadan before we go for today? Last call for Muslims. Who is a Muhammadan willing to call us? Now those who download the videos and share it, the video is so long, let us say take the cheese of it, play the videos of Mimi Hijab showing us his nipples, make it short, Show play the videos of Muhammad do not know, or part, make a part about what uh, uh, this guy Uthman he said, and the importance of the video of Uthman, very important. And actually, as I said, I'm thinking to add it to my intro videos. I will make a new one. I'm thinking to make a new one. That Muhammad do not know who is Jibreel. He do not know. So Muhammad, he was for 40 years, he have zero knowledge of Gabriel. Therefore, the God of the Arab in Mecca, who his name is Allah, Obviously, you have nothing to do with the God of Moses, the God in the Bible. Why? Because as you see, this God, those who worship him, they never heard of Gabriel. All the people of Mecca, according to Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless his uh, penis, because Islam is about peace, penis anyway. I mean, what will happen? You convert to Islam, you pray to Allah, you do jihad, you kill, you know, join Hamas. Then what Allah will do will make your penis in this. This is the reward. It's a penis God. Don't shy to say loud and clear that Islam is a religion of penis. Because the reward is about penis. Even Muhammad himself, when he go to heaven, Allah will give him the power of 40 men of people of heaven. But each one of those people of heaven, he will have the power of 100 men and boom, boom, effing. So Muhammad will have the power of 4,000 men, penis. Muhammad, he will have the power of 4,000 penises. So don't be shy to say the truth. This is the truth. I mean, I, I know that some Christian, they will be like, you know, it's really not nice to say such a word, penis, right? But this is how it is, what they will say. Should I say lips and steak? Should I say banana? It is penis. What I can do? If I say penis, it's penis. So Muhammad will get the power of four thousand penis. So what the name of the god? Penis. This is the penis god. For everything about him, focus in one part: penis. The heaven of Allah is a penis heaven. When Muhammad he said, you know, they asked him, I don't know if you have my book, Six in Allah. Now we have the book translated to some languages already for free, you can read it. When they ask him how we will do ifin, he says, Dahman, Dahman. What Dahman, Dahman mean? Let me explain to you without, you know, saying anything. That is Dahman, Dahman. And I change any Muslim to say I'm lying. And now you tell me what kind of a prophet? He's a prophet of God. He described for us how we do the boom boom with sound and action. Even their sex will be violent, violent boom boom. And he used the name of his God to swear, saying, I swear by Allah, you will do it, Dahman, Dahman. And then he continues saying, وَذَكَرٌ لَا يَثَنِي And a penis will never go limp.
This is the truth. They try to make science and the Quran. They try all the garbage. The truth is, this God is the God of penis. Penis God. Zakarun la yamul. And the desire will never stop. Who said that? Mumu. The penis prophet. Oh, I cannot find this uh, hadith here in Arabic. Hold on, in English. Uh, let us see this one. Here we go. Read and love. This is in English. Muhammad he describing how you will do the boom boom. This is God. God told him. God, God, the penis. God told him. It was narrated by Abu uh, uh, Umar that the messenger of Allah said. There is none, no one whom Allah will admit to paradise. Allah, he will marry him to 72 wives, at least, you know. Two from the Huris and 72 from the inheritance of people of hell. Listen carefully, people of hell, I will tell you later why, people of hell. Of whom will have desirable front passages, Allah will choose women, from hell, those women, they love sex. They are obsessed with sex. But they are a special kind of women. They have nice boobs. Desirable front passages. Desirable front passages. Muslim, put your comment. And he will have a male member will never go flaccid, i.e. soft. I'm sorry, I cannot draw that. <laughs> Other guys, you guys, you will shoot me. <laughs> this is God? This is a prophet of God? This is the good news of Islam? If I believe in this God, he will make your penis never go limp and he will import for you women from hell. Not good women. Look, look. In the heaven of Allah, he's saying this da'if. Da'if is accepted. He's saying this hadith is da'if. Just to show you the stupidity. When the Muslim they say this hadith is da'if. So is it bad or good? If it's bad, why is it there? It's there because it is good. <laughs> As Sheikh Hamza, he said, Weak da'if is a weak argument. <laughs> so, brothers and sisters, when the Muslim they say to each other that women who they are bad, they will go to hell. No. In fact, the more bad you are, the more you are wanted in heaven of Allah. Because as you see, Allah will not import normal women to heaven he will import hookers so if you are a hooker and you have a front nice front passages that is your ticket don't worry about it you are going to go to heaven guaranteed for all the women who they are hookers who they have nice boobs and nice bum and nice legs Allah will take them to heaven Any Muslim? And uh, and the Muslim they made a video to refute me. They said, uh, uh, "Brother and sister, the Christian press is lying. It doesn't say they have nice boobs. It says desirable front passages. Okay, it's not boobs, guys. It's not boobs. It's not boobs. It doesn't say boobs." Uh, Christian Prince is adding words there. Okay, Muslims, what is the desirable front passage? Somebody help me. Huh? 
What is the desirable front passages of those women? It's not boobs. Brother, it's not boobs. It doesn't say boobs. Let me let me think about it. There is a woman. And she have desirable front passages. Hmm. What is that? I'm thinking. Oh, I got it. CP, I got you busted. It is her iPhone. Don't the women, they hold their phone in the front of them? So she have a desirable front passages, obviously. It's not their breast. It's not their legs. No, it doesn't say that, CP. Desirable front passages. It's clear it is the iPhone 13. Hmm. So Allah will go to heaven, sort to hell. Why you are laughing? I mean, you are not in heaven now, you are not Muslims. So Allah will go to hell and he will look for females who have desirable front passages. If there's any Muslim want to help us in how there's desirable front passages? Any Muslim? What is the desirable in their front passages exactly? It does maybe the glasses, she's wearing glasses there. Maybe the blouse. Ah, I mean vagina. Ah, okay. Well, I'm trying to be polite. I'm not saying the word vagina. Vagina. I mean, come on, Christian Prince. You say the word vagina 1,000 times before. Why now? Because it is desirable. <laughs> so, desirable front messages is whatever in the front of the women. It can be her breast. It can be her vagina. It can be her legs, all of it actually. And here you ask yourself, what kind of God this God is? So he is going to bring me women from hell, which means they are not good women. Who is going to be in hell? And why they are in hell? Because they are bad. And this is actually the reason for Allah to import them. He, The Muslim guy, he don't want a woman. She is going to spend her day saying, inshallah, he want a, a hooker. Because remember, the whole point of this reward is sex. He wants a hooker who knows all the tricks to make man happy in bed. Not a decent woman. So look at the ratio. From every two women in the heaven of Allah, there is 70 hookers. Can you believe it? This is the heaven of Allah. From every two decent women in heaven, or, or let's say, in, in, in the other side, this is the ratio, 2 to 72, to 70. Why does God, he want hookers to be important from hell? Muhammad is a filthy man. 
he's trying to tempt men the whole point is temptation you enter your heaven you go to your palace Allah will go to hell and he will start looking for hookers and those hookers they have a special unique qualification their vagina is so good their breast is so beautiful I'm not going to mention the rest you know the rest and here you ask yourself why those things is even exist in the books of Muslims if Muhammad was a good person and when the Muslim they say this is da'if, which means it is uh, not very, very, very authentic, but it's in their book. Why it is not authentic today? Is it because it's a shameful? You are trying to regret it or trying to hide it? What kind of God he promised me hookers unless he is a hooker? Any Muhammadan? My Skype is open, by the way. What happened? Why we are going dry? What happened to the Muhammadan? Anyone? Any one, any two. Any half. The God of hookers. The God who will collect hookers from, from hell. This is, must be a very good God. So imagine you are a Muslim woman and supposedly you will go to heaven for some reasons. Obviously you have to have good vagina too because you will lose your qualification. But for the sake of argument, imagine you are a woman going to heaven and your husband will be given 72, 70 hookers beside you. How fun it is to have a house full of hookers with you. Anyone? Isn't it wonderful to have such a God? This is not a prank. This is a true. You will be a decent woman and there is 70 hooker with you in the same house. And the poor you, you have no skills like them. And when Muhammad, he mentioned that each time a Muslim he have sex, he will have 70 years orgasm. I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse. You go to talk to the Muslim. Let us say you are a wife of this guy. If his orgasm is 70 years, what you would do during that time when it's not your turn? If the orgasm alone is 70 years, you take a nap? You, do you take a vacation? What you would do with your time? When your husband is doing effing and his orgasm alone is 70 years. If the orgasm alone is 70 years, the sex, how long? 300 years, 400 years. 
a thousand a year and if you have orgasm with every woman for 70 years Muhammad is stuck with number 70 man I mean this guy is always mentally ill Jesus he said 70 Muhammad he took 70 that's it Muhammad he put it everywhere so if every woman you are going to sleep with the orgasm alone will be 70 years and remember the those women they will have 70 maids and the 70 maid they will have 70 assistant and the 70 assistant they will have a, a, a 70 assistant so 70 actually there's a video on youtube by the sheikh explain it 70 x 70 x 70 x 70 at least this is a 24 million women just for for a bad muslim this is just 70 not 72 we did not calculate 72 remember it should be 72 actually hold on the number is wrong here it should be 72 72 x 72 x 72 x 72 26 millions and 873 women now if the orgasm alone 70 years so x 70 so if you have sex with your husband today and he just finished his orgasm the next time you will have you will be able to see him or sleep with him is going to be 1 billion 1 billion 881 million year and 169 years and 920 20, 20, 20 days 1 billion year so what you will be doing uh, you know uh, your husband now is effing other women what you will do in the 1 billion year 1 billion year of effing and by the way he did not finish yet because after 1 billion as the numbers here says says 1 billion 881 years he will go back to zero he will start effing again starting with you hey muslims muslim men i feel sorry for you man you will spend your eternity effing and you know it's very funny and very stupid to the point that allah will make the inversion again cheating even the versions are che cheating uh cp why there is incest in your bible you perverted lamo okay my friend show me the incest in my bible you want to tell me about loot that is a stupid of you this is the girls having sex with their father is not God. He said that to them. However, the incest is in your book, you stupid idiot. Isn't it Adam? Children's. They have sex with their sisters. Did Adam children's, according to Islam, had sex with their brothers? You will say at that time there is no. So it's incest. Forget about that. What about your Quran in the chapter 25 verse number 54 says I remember here the Bible tells us about people committing sin not the Bible saying God said to them do it but in your religion God said that we made a human being from a lineage we go and read the interpretation, it says, if a Muslim man have sex with a woman, and then he have a daughter from that woman, her daughter and the mother is lawful for him. Do you want to call me and challenge me to make you read it? Guys, do you think this guy, he dared to call me? And either he proved me a liar, or I prove him to be stupid. That in your religion, you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. This is your religion teaching that. The Bible never teaches you can do incest. Nowhere. The Bible reports stories of people who did sin. This is your religion says that you can have sex with your daughter. Who want to get me busted? Who want to get me busted? May they, may they challenge in front of everybody. 
I want a Muslim to call me right now and get me busted. Either I am lying or I'm saying the truth. That you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. Adultery. Not daughter from marriage. No, you cannot have sex with daughter from marriage. But a daughter from adultery is lawful for you to do boom, boom with her. Who want to get me busted? <laughs> Cowards. So you talk about incest, this is your religion. And not only that, in the heaven of Allah, all of you Muslims will have sex with your family. Go watch my videos debating the Sheikh. He said, So what if I have sex with my mother in heaven? He said, There's no sin in heaven. There is no sin in heaven. So this is in your belief, not in my belief. This is in your belief, not mine. And to show you how ugly Islam is, a person he is, let us say you have a daughter from adultery. You have a girlfriend, you step with her. Okay, she have a baby from you. According to Islam, this child cannot carry the father's name. Why are you punishing the child? What is the problem? Why the child have to be punished? Is that his sin? Did he choose what his mother she would do in the bed? Did he choose what his, his father would do in the bed? This is the cult of Muhammad. A child of adultery, he cannot inherit. He cannot even carry the name of his father. But Muhammad was born four years after his father's death. If you search right now, uh, how long the women, the Muslim women, she can carry a child from a husband, from real marriage? You will see the Muslims, they have different numbers, and they agree that the women, she can be carrying a child for four years. Let us search for uh, some fatwa. Who won this answer? Uh. Hmm. Let us find it in English. Hold on. I'm trying to find it in English. I have it in Arabic. Uh, Looks like I cannot find it in English. Okay, let's do it in, in, in Arabic then. And we can use Google Translation. This is the Muslim website. Islamic questions and answer, and those are scholars, supposedly. The question is, what is the maximum uh, uh, time or period a woman she can have a child she can carry a child the answer is here 
Click Translate and dial in. <laughs> According to Hanifa, and this is one of the Islamic sect, big sect, I think uh, Mimi Hijab is from the Hanifa. Two years. According to view of Abu Layth and Ibn Saud, Saad, sorry, three years. According to the popular, the most opinion on, uh, 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 of Shafi'i and Hanbali and Maliki, those are the three major sects of Islam, the Sunni. The Sunni are four, even their sect is four. <laughs> so, according to three of them, the Shafi'i, the Hanbali, and the Maliki, is four years. Do you see it? Four years, according to the sect of the Shafi'i, Hanbali, and the most popular, like the two of you of Al Maliki. Then he continue that Imam Malik he have even more five years. Azuri and Malik they say six years. Azuri and Malik they say in different place seven years. Yeah, it can happen. You know, I mean, there's cars that walk in by electricity these days. So it can happen. And then the view number eight, there's no limit. <laughs> no limit. So if you, uh, you know, let us say, uh, you divorce your wife 25 years ago and your wife she called you yesterday she says come and pay the bill of the baby i deliver a baby in the hospital don't complain pay it this is your child you will say to her but i divorced you you know 10 years ago 15 years ago she say honey this is your child you have to pay it you like it or not uh, you say to her what is the proof this is my child he, she will say this he looks stupid like you What kind of religion this religion is? So Muhammad, obviously, he is a son of adultery. He was born four years after his father's death. Who is the father of Muhammad? Now, I wish I did not make this video long because the first part of it, guys, what is important. So I'm going to finish here. It's already uh, five hours, you know, it's uh, four hours and 15, nine minutes, 13 seconds. By the time we say bye-bye, it's going to be half hour from now. So uh, those who would download the video, please don't keep the video as it is. Cut, cut it pieces. This is where you can get more people to view your channel and make it a topic like uh, Mimi Hijab getting going to these to fight the Chinese. Okay. <laughs> Muhammad did not know the angel Jibreel. He never knew Jibreel. So make them short so Muslims they can watch, Christian can watch, atheists can watch. And uh, <clears throat> now you have to be careful if you are a Muslim in case your wife she call you later after you divorce her 10 years after and she have a baby because it's your baby for sure. It's proven scientifically to be true. All right. Uh, so obviously the Quran is meant, is, is meant to be a book for the stupid, for the ignorant, not for those who want to use their brain. When I asked the guy from uh, India, I asked him how the Quran says a man, his name is Solomon, he died standing for a year, and nobody noticed that he is dead because he's standing holding a stick. He said, accept. So what? What the problem? And he is the person who want to speak about logic. And he is the person who want to speak about what is corrupt. So a man, he stand and he is dead and nobody notice for a year and he is a king see if there is a person he live alone nobody come to his house maybe 10,000 years who okay, care I mean nobody notice he's dead this is a king he have army he have ministers he have wives he's a leader of community he have enemies he's dead for a year and nobody notice and the Quran explained why they notice later because the termite they ate his stick now you can go and ask yourself a piece of wood the staff of a king 
is going to be made from the best wood you can imagine. Correct? I mean, he's a king. There's no way to explain that. So, how long is it going to take a termite to eat the stick of a king? A staff. And how in the world a staff can hold the king standing? Because if the termite ate the staff, and this is what made him fail, that means for a year, his flesh is fine. His body is fine. The termite, they were eating the stick, but nothing was eating the flesh. All of us, we knew that when you die, your body will start being damaged. There's even bacteria inside you start eating your flesh. If a person, he die, right away you see the flies all over him. So based on this story, Allah, he did not let the body decay, but he could not protect the stick. Allah have a weakness when it's come to termite. I mean, termite, they are, they are able to even to have victory over Allah. Look, he was able to preserve the body of the human. He was standing, nobody noticed, but the termite, my friend. The termite is the problem. So I warn you from the termite. Even Allah could not stop the termite. This is how dangerous they are. And this is the mathematics of Allah. This is why, me, myself, I'm going to use like uh, some kind of uh, aluminium, aluminium uh, stick. So termite cannot eat it. And the top of that, Muslim will not know that I am dead, so I can go live forever. I will go live when I'm dying. I will hold the stick, and none of you will notice. I will go live forever. Nobody will notice. Not you, not YouTube, nobody. Look like if you are standing up, nobody notice you are dead. It's not like you don't talk, you don't breathe, you don't eat, you don't move. That is not a sign that you are dead. No, 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 no. It is because you are standing, obviously you are not dead yet. Mm. Right? Genius, the one who wrote the Quran. Genius, not a I don't talk about genie. Because the same guy, uh, uh, the same guy, Suleiman, the Muslim, they say to us that Islam is against paganism. Islam is against statues. Then you read the Quran, you see that Allah, he ordered the genie to build the statues for Suleiman in his synagogue. You read here, you will see images. Okay, I thought images is haram. No, it's not haram. But by the way, this is a false translation. You change the translator. This is you. This is Hilali and Khan. You go to Yusuf Ali. This is Yusuf Ali. It says images too. Where is the statues? We go to different translation. Hilali and or Itani Allah. Okay. Here we go. Statues. See statues. Statues. Islam is against paganism. Islam is against the statues. And the Muslim, he will say to you, oh, some Christian churches, they have the statues. This is your God. He gave an order to Suleiman to give Satan an order, the genies who are, they are controlled by his ring, Holy Buddha ring, to build for him what? Synagogue full of images and statues. And... Uh, <clears throat> My stomach is uh, singing, so I better go. So I want to say, guys, thank you. And again, and again, and again. Please don't forget to share the true translation we posted today. Actually, we have the link in the info of this video here. Or you can get it from uh, Patreon. The Deception of Allah for the first time in Chinese. And again, thank you for the translator. I cannot thank you enough. And... Uh, we have uh, six in Allah in Russian. In you know, uh, uh, we got it today. 
I see we posted today. What is the link? Hold on. Six and Allah. Okay, six and Allah. What is six and Allah? What? Oh, here we go. Six and Allah. Mashallah, mashallah. Here we go. In the Russian language. So we have two books, and soon this coming week I will publish the translation in Persian and again for free. So all those books are gift from me for all of you. And now I need your help to spread them all over the internet. Even if you don't speak Russian, even if you don't speak Polish or Chinese or uh, Croatian, it doesn't matter. We need your help to share those books. It costs you nothing. You see, it costs you nothing, zero except copy paste a link in twitter in here in there let people download for free i want to have like a good news that by the end of today we will have like a maybe two thousand downloaded from that file at least and then the two thousands will not multiply And imagine how many people will see how stupid this cult is. We are coming to you, China. And nobody can stop. And actually, somebody should contact the Chinese embassy to take my book and teach it in their schools as a gift from me. So Muslims will leave Islam. All right. And now I'm working in the uh, Quran translation to English, and I hope when we are done, we will publish it too. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. It's already more than five hours here, enough for today. Download the video, cut it pieces, make it short, 15 minutes each maybe, and share it with your friends. And we are very thankful for uh, the nipples of brother Mimi Hijab because now the Chinese they are really in bad shape because of Mimi Hijab showing his nipples this dummy idiot he loves showtime he won't take any excuse to take off his t-shirt he think he have a body of a hero he shave his chest this is how dummy he is he is weird he is I don't know if he's homosexual or not but I cannot find any reason for a human being to respect himself. He claimed that he is a Muslim doing dawah to take off his shirt, shaving his chest a day before. Thank you. You must be a perverted person. And you coward, Mimi Hijab. The embassy is in front of you. So you want to fight the Chinese embassy? Not by taking off your t-shirt, go and knock at the door if you are brave enough. You did not even dare to touch the door. Taking off your t-shirt, a hero on YouTube. He's a hero on where? In YouTube. I want the Muslims to follow Brother Mimi Hijab next week. Follow his step and go and do topless protest in front of the Chinese embassy. Imagine, brother, if the news say the following, 10,000 topless Muslims, not to forget the women, because obviously it's okay. I thought in Islam it is haram for a Muslim man to show his chest, to show his body. It is aura. No, it is not. It's a lie. And the proof in front of you. So I challenge the Muslims to go by thousands next weekend topless in front of the Chinese embassies and throw your bra at the Chinese cover your flag the flag of China cover it with your top take it off throw it bury the Chinese embassy by your t-shirts and this is how you can defeat China in the same time all Islamic government they are kissing the ass of China 
Saudi Arabia, go and check how many times their crown prince, he went to Saudi Arabia, how many agreements they signed with them, Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, Qatar, oh, don't tell me about Qatar, Erdogan, oh, don't tell me about Erdogan, Erdogan suddenly in front of the Chinese, he is a potato, where is the heroes, hey Erdogan, take off your t-shirt, so in reality, they kiss the they kiss the ass of every single Chinese in the government of China. But they have to show to do a show, a YouTube show, taking off their clothing. This guy he loves to show himself, and he think he have a body of a hero. All what I see is somebody stuffed with beef. You don't even have missiles. Look at this. Even your arms have no missiles. What is the point of this? Where is the Muslims? Either you agree with him and you take off your t-shirt or you expose this perverted man who is exposing his chest to Muslim women. And not only that, he go and he post such a video in his channel. And not only that, he says, you brought tears to my family, Habibi. A Muslim man calling him Habibi. He's in love. Habibi. What a perverted idiot. And we are grateful for all their videos. So this month, those last two weeks, actually, they are priceless. We have this video confirming that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. And he is a pagan. And he does not know who is Jibreel. He did not come from Abrahamic faith. This year we have another video too, made by the help of uh, Mimi Hijab, where he have a interview with this guy, where he confirm that Islam is a stupid cult, and the Bible is saying the truth that Jesus really was crucified. Oh, there's no it sound. Is. Sorry. Uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. I'm not interested in whether Jesus was the son of God because I don't think there was a God. <laughs> so, My understanding is that your conclusion is that Jesus Christ was a messianic prophet. I think he, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is... Did you know what he said? In the front of his face. Jesus, he thought he is the Messiah, which means Muhammad is a liar. Because Muhammad in the Quran, he confirmed that Jesus is the Messiah. And this dummy sitting in front of him shaking his head. I mean, how we can get wonderful videos more than this? He is the one calling this guy, calling him a scholar. They are inviting him supposedly to defeat Christianity. And look what happened. Stupidity is amazing. He taught him that I believe that Jesus is not the Messiah, he thought. So Muhammad is a liar. He said to him, I believe that this man who claimed to be the Messiah, he was killed and buried. And he was crucified. So the Quran lie. Because obviously it's not the same person. And obviously, the Bible teach that he was crucified and he believed this is what happened. So all the attempt was a big failure. Actually, I did not watch the whole video, which is three minutes. It is hilarious. And then with this idiot, he said to him, the Quran says that the, the, the Quran is preserved because there's no contradiction. Refuse to admit it's a mistake. You think either it can be reconciled in some way or that there's something we just don't understand about it. Or, you know, we have and and. <laughs> In the Quran, it's mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> so... <laughs> hey, 
hijab, why did you not take off your t-shirt to beat the guy? He just compared your Quran to the yellow pages. And not only that, he confirmed that yellow pages have no contradiction. We, we can show tens of verses in the Quran are contradictions. Especially the one about which one is created first. The mountains or the stars? The trees or the stars? And by the way, this guy, he looked like a crazy, huh? don't you see? Guys, did you notice with me? Even his laugh, like, ha, 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 he jumped. No. Look at this, look. Look how he laughed, look. I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> no, that, that is my view. It's a necessary condition for a book from God not to have contradictions. It's That's an assumption about what kind of book God could write. I know this is a, an important argument that uh, apologists use for Islam. As somebody who is not either Christian or Muslim, it doesn't make sense to me for humans to say what God has to do. If God wants to make a revelation, it has to be this, this, or that. You're talking about somebody who's beyond your imagination. Well, so what, there has to be something. You see, you see how he got him busted? So this stupid idiot, he thought he would have a guy, he would side with him against Christianity. And this is the whole purpose of this argument, supposedly, or this interview. He earned debating the guy, and he lost. He had no answer. The Muslim, they want to tell God what to say, and what to do, and how to be. The one they invited, they said, you cannot do that. And now, we have to finish with this, with commercial break. Thank you all for being here, and we appreciate your support if you like to support us. And this is our commercial break, and with it, we say good evening, good night, good day for all of you. Take care, and this is your brother Christian Prince sharing with you some gifts for today. God bless you. Commercial break. Hello, babies. If you would like the support Christian Prince, please go to Patreon and show your support. www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince. We thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video.